Hello. It's a beautiful day here and I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're at. I'm going to do a Florida scene with uh, some palm trees, seagulls, some waves coming in. It's going to be a different scene because I'm going to use more orange clouds and uh, a sunset in Florida. What I did was put a line here, painted the bottom half with black gesso. The top I loaded up with a thin coat of liquid white. Then what I did on the bottom is I put a thin thin coat of liquid clear on. And you'll see as we go along that I'm going to blend some colors down here. And any information and all the colors are going to come right across the screen up here. So let's get started. What I did was I loaded up a brush already. I mixed some phthalo green, phthalo blue to get the blue, the green color, more greenish of the ocean. So after the liquid white is on there, I'm going to put a thin coat of this color along the horizon. You don't have to put that much on and you're not going to really see it probably from your angle. But once we put the white on, titanium white, it's going to pull all this color off. And that's what's pretty pretty amazing about this when you watch it happen. When you watch it happen and adding a little bit more, tapping it on the two inch brush. Just here and there and there and here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save a little spot. Right down here. Where I'm going to put the beach. So I'm going to use some brown colors and yellow. Then when you put the white on there, and you highlight it, you accent it, and it's going to pull. It's going to pull those colors out of there. Okay, I'm going to clean my brush. I'm using odorless paint thinner. Beat all the excess off. Now I'm going to go into some Van Dyke Brown and uh, almost like a yellow. Just come down here. I'm sure you can see that. That would be the beach. The beachy color. All the way along. It's your world. Like I've said in my other videos. You can do and create anything you'd like. Now maybe take some of that paint off. I'm going to go in a little bit of cadmium yellow. Just a tad. So I want to get some yellow here. Where you're going to get that reflection from the sun. When you look at the beach in the water, you're going to see kind of reflections all over the place. It's not going to be like in one area. Since I got this going, and I said it's going to be an orange, it's going to be a sunset, I'm going to grab some orange. That's bright red and cadmium yellow. Load a little bit on the brush. I'm going to come right down the middle where I think like that. Right in through here where I think I'm going to put the sun. Just a little bit. When you go into the colors, it's going to pull it out even more. You can see it's probably coming through now. Going to tap it. Just barely. You can see that. From here you can, but it's just barely. You can see some of that green coming out of the water. Now what we're going to do is we're going to figure out um, we're going to load a two-inch brush with some sky color like a phthalo blue, Prussian blue. Because we're going to have some seagulls in here. I'm going to start out in the corner using crisscross strokes. 
in the corners. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add more color, make it a little bit darker, load it up, tap it, start in the color in the corners again. With that liquid white on, it almost pulls the, the, the blue right off of it. Make it a little darker. And then in the sky, you want to leave it some openings. Because the sky, if you look at it, it's not all the same blue. It's different if you look at it real close. you got different textures, different shades. That's what we're trying to create here. We're trying to create an illusion. And since I said it's going to be a sky where there's A sunset. I'm going to grab some color now. Cleaning my brush again. I'm going to get some of the orange colors and yellow. Depending on How much you want, we're gonna load that up on a two inch brush. Just tap it. And we're gonna put some orange in the sky. Have you ever seen the horizon? Where there might be a sunset? And it almost covers the whole bottom of the sky. And that's what I'm trying to do here. And whereabouts where I put the line. I'm going to make it a little darker here because that's where we're going to have the sun setting. We're just putting it here and there and there and here. And it's okay to leave that white down at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the way it really looks in nature. You're looking at the sunset. Just here and there, there and here. We'll fill that in a little bit more in here. Maybe a little bit darker, just tapping it. Yeah, that's more like it. Got a nice pop on that one. Nice hue. Maybe a little bit more. It's your world. You can tell I'm kind of scrubbing it in, but I want to create that line, that horizon where it all blends in. And you step back and you look at it, and if you like it, which is pretty good, I'm going to go to a blender brush. What this is going to do is it's kind of going to blend everything all in. So what you want to do, I'm going to start down here in the lighter colors because I don't want to get the blue down into the... I don't want to get the blue down into my sunset. I'm just blending this in. Getting that rays, pull it out. Like it's a sun shining. Like it's setting. I'm going to do more of it because I'm going to put the, the actual sun in. And I'm going to show you how to do that. knock off some of that excess that I got from the sunset. Go in here and blend the clouds in. Even though I knocked off some of the paint, you're still going to see some of that orange in the blue. Because that's the way it looks in nature. And that's exactly what we're trying to create. Right now we're taking out some of the brush strokes making some clouds, make it look like there's clouds in the blue, barely tapping, barely blending it in, all the way down. Kind of pay attention to your sky, where you want your clouds to be. They don't have to be blended in either. Because even though it's a blue sky, you're still going to have a lot of textures. And that's the 
that's the fun part about oil painting is that you can create anything you want clean it off blender brush knocking the excess off try to get it as clean as you can now what we're going to do is we're going to come in and put the sunset in with your old trusty paintbrush I like to call it is my finger it's kind of a nice circle there you'll load up the different colors the reds yellows and let's say it's going to be right here circular motion maybe a little bit more yellow maybe a little bit of liquid white tap it in the middle you want that lighter color to be in the middle and you'll see what when I'm finished here what I'm going to do usually in the sunset it's not a break bright big sun it's going off in the distance you can almost see it when it hits the water and it almost flattens out I'm gonna take the blender brush again barely just with the corner barely blend that in what you did then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull out barely touch it might not be able to see that from where where you're at and I wish you could But here you're going to get that look. You can make it as light as you want. But I think I'm going to leave mine just like that for now. And I'm going to take a fan brush. Two inch fan brush. I'm going to load it up with titanium white. I'm going to put some clouds in first. I'm going to put in some big, fluffy clouds. Maybe a little bit of liquid white. Both sides of the fan brush. What we're going to do is do circular motions and make some clouds. Let's say some of the clouds is right here. And I said I was going to make some big ones. You can tap, circular motion, whatever you'd like, whatever works. A lot of times both of them work, you know, whatever. Loading the brush up again, really loading it on both sides. Maybe the cloud comes right down into here. More color, more liquid white. Maybe I'm going to put one, oh, who knows right here what you're looking for is a sharp edge because that's where the clouds look like they're made of cotton and that's what you want you don't want to touch that see I'm tapping that in but only because I want that sharp edge loading up the fan brush again I want that sharp edge of the clouds and you'll see we're going to take a two inch brush and we're going to blend it in Maybe this one goes right down across. Who knows? Load up some more white. Maybe make this one maybe a bigger, maybe a big cloud. Big strong cloud here. More white. This video could just be about painting clouds, painting the sky. Maybe there's a little one right here. Maybe he's by himself. Goes off. Everything's coming. A 
loading up some more paint. Maybe down here there's some more. Off in the distance. They're off the canvas. Who knows where they are. Maybe put some right across here. We're going to save some darker color. And we're going to put some right across maybe the, where the sunset is. These can go right down. When it looks like you might have enough clouds and it's your world, I could probably go and keep putting them in. Maybe I'm going to put one right in here. Since I said I wanted a lot, fluffy, big clouds. Because what we're going to do is we're going to come back in. We're going to come back in and we're going to blend the bottom, leave the top edge alone. I'm going to use this blender brush here, right in the corner. Just taking a corner. Circular motion. Blending it. Blending. Not touching that top. Not yet, anyways. This gets all kinds of stuff happening. And what, what I did was I put it in layers. So each cloud looks like it's in front of other ones. And you'll see that in the sky when you're looking. That it looks like there's a bunch of clouds up there. And that's what's happening. One cloud's in front of another one. And you got different shades of blue. And everything's happening. Got darker blue back there. Remember, I'm just using it corner of the brush. Blend it in all the way down. Knock off the excess. Then we're going to just take very lightly. Fluff it up. Same corner. That edge I told you, you're going to fluff that edge up. That's the way the clouds look. They got that fluffiness, cottony, if you look at them. And once you start oil painting, you're gonna look at things a little different. You're gonna see the, the sky different, the grass, the different shades, uh, trees, bushes. That's the amazing thing about this. Now we're gonna go right into that same fan brush that we had going on. We're going to load up some color because we want, if you look in the, in the sunset sky, it's got some amazing colors going on in the clouds themselves. So I'm going to add some orange colors, same color we use for the, for the sky, for the sunset. Bright red, orange, cadmium yellow. We'll load that up on the fan brush. And maybe in here we're going to come in and Maybe add some here. Same kind of, but these are going to be clouds too. But they're going to be, they're going to be hitting some of the highlights from the reflection of the sun. Maybe this one comes right down. Circular motion. We don't want that top edge. I'm going to add some, a little bit more yellow maybe. Put some in here. Because the yellow is pulling off from the colors too. And you're just here and there and there and here. I'm adding some yellow, or more orange now on the brush. Maybe there's some darker colors back here hitting, popping. Just tapping it. Maybe it comes right down. Who knows? You just want to get that look. I want to get that look from the sky. And I'm just reloading my fan brush as I need it. What colors I think that I want to create. Maybe down here there's some. Maybe that's coming right from the... Oh, that one's kind of bright. I don't know if you can see that, but... It's kind of hitting it from the reflection. More color, more orange. Maybe put some in here. 
tapping a whatever you think, whatever you think works. Right across. You got all kinds of things happening there. What I'm going to do now is use the blender brush again. Since these are clouds, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to blend the bottom, leave the top half alone. I want to blend it in. It's in the sky. There's just so much stuff happening. It's almost hard, hard to duplicate it exactly because there's just so much happening. Blending all this in. Here and there and there and here. You got all the different shades, the colors, just everything. Just everything kind of happening there. That looks pretty good. And normally when you're painting, if, if it gets to the point where it looks good, you want to stop. If you do that little extra, Sometimes you end up uh, not being quite happy with it. So I'm going to stop right where I'm at here. And I'm going to get my liner brush. It's a thin brush. I'm going to use some liquid clear that we put down here first. Because that thins the paint. And a thin paint will stick to a thick paint every time. And what I'm doing is I'm loading up some midnight black. And some titanium white. And I'm going to do... So I'm going to put some seagulls in here. And this is what it looks, looks like loaded. Maybe we'll put a seagull right here. Just tap it. And draw out. draws his wing, which way he's flying. And seagulls fly in all kinds of different angles. That one's coming that way. This one might be going a different way. Might be further off and you don't see him as good. That one I did kind of dark so you could, you could see it wherever you're viewing this from. And we always want to do them in odd numbers, threes, nines. I'm going to put another one right here. So you just make a dot and draw across. And that's their, their wings. Cleaning the brush off. Now since we got that happening, if you're happy with that, like I said, you could just keep going and going at home or wherever you're at. Spend all the time you want on it. And just keep, I guess you could call tweaking it. Okay, I'm going to clean my brush, my fan brush, that I had the white color on and that, but I don't have to get it real clean because we're going to go in and start making some waves using titanium white on the fan brush and the colors we put on you'll see how it pops it come right off. Maybe a little bit of liquid clear that thins it. On both sides. And what we're going to do is since the horizon is here we're going to tap it because we want we want to get that illusion of the glitter there. It'd be a glitter. Every so often you want to put some in. Here's a little bit of titanium white. Kind of thins it out. You just want to put it here and there and leave some gaps. Leave some black in between. Because that's 
going to give you that look of the ocean out there. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the orange and the yellow on the fan brush. Because we want to make some of these the same color. Same color as the sunset. Because the waves out there are going to be that color. And what we can do is grab some more of that color and bring some of this reflection in here. Here and there. Some of it's going to be brighter than others. Making it a little darker. Darker orange. You want that, you want that to pop right there. I'm going to take the blender brush now and pull it down. Or the reflection. Where it's coming through and go straight across. You can make it as far as you want. You get that look. some more white, orange. I'm going to tap it in there. These would be some of the waves coming in. Here and there, there and here. Just tapping. You'll see the color that I already put on there is going to come through. Turn the brush over. Just tapping right now. And I'm going to do a stroke of maybe the water. So I'm going to create in the distance different waves coming all the way off. Here and there, there and here. You're going to add a little bit more pressure. give you that look of the waves, different waves coming in. Maybe there's a, some white ones coming right in through here. You gotta highlight that from the from the sun, sunset. You don't have to use a whole lot of white either. Just whatever you want to highlight. And we'll come back and make some waves in. Right now we're just Putting the ocean in right now. See that color that I put on there? The blue, phthalo blue and phthalo green. 
you get that oceany look. Come all the way in. All the way down to the beach. And after that, we'll start putting in our waves, wherever we think they're, wherever they, wherever you think they might be. Down here, it really doesn't much matter because what we're going to do is put some waves in. So some of this is going to get covered up, but if it doesn't, it's going to show through. Hope you can hear that. I'm kind of blending it in. Kind of hard. Looks like there's waves happening all out there. I'm going to go on to the titanium white, liquid white. And we're going to start figuring out where we want some waves to come in. Maybe up there. Remember we want to create that illusion up here. But if you ever look at the sunset, where the sun's at, whether it's reflecting off of it or any time of the day that you'll ever at the beach. Take a look at the take a look at the glow. Maybe right here there's one coming in. One big one. Maybe there's some small ones over here. I see one there. And it's wherever you see them. That's exactly where they should be. Maybe there's one that looks like it's already breaking already. And that just happened. Wasn't something I planned, and you'll see that. You'll see that when you're doing paintings. You don't make mistakes. Maybe there's one coming in right here, going right across. Maybe there's one coming in here. All I'm doing is using the corner of the brush. Just that corner right there. I'm just tapping it. That's what's giving you that look of the ocean's waves. The harder you tap, the more wave you have. More splash or eye of the wave. Maybe there's a little one right here coming in. He just crashed. He just crashed a little early out there. wherever you think is exactly where they should be. Maybe that one runs right off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in Remember I told you earlier about if you see something and uh, you think it's good and you want to leave it but you might want to go back into it and try to add a little bit more. I've seen that right now in the reflection. But then the, the more I look at it, I like it. So I'm, I'm going to go right over it right now. And I'm not going to not going to put more of a highlight. I was going to highlight it more. But the one the more I looked at it, I decided that That was just the way I wanted it. So I'm going to leave it alone. And through my experience of painting, that I learned that, that nine times out of ten it happens where you go to correct it and you don't correct it. It comes out to being better the way you had it. 
put a few in here and there. Just trying to create the illusion of water. Waves coming in. Over there, you can work on that if you'd like. I'm going to leave it just because down here, since we put these colors in down here, use that fan brush with the white on there. And you're going to pull up right where you think the sun is going to hit. And it's pulling in all those colors. Just like that. Now what we're going to do Take the blender brush, use the blender brush a lot. I'm kind of cleaning it off right now. Just on a rag, you could use paper towels. What I'm going to do is pull that up. What that does, it gives you that reflection that you see. If you look at the ocean, you'll probably look at things differently now, I hope, because it's really something to see. You really look at everything happening. The colors. You think they look blue and they're purple? Now I'm going to take the same blender brush and go right across lightly. See what it did? Is it softened it and it gave you that reflection, like there's a reflection there where it's hitting the sand, and that is perfect for me. I am leaving it alone. I'm going to go back to the 2 inch brush, fan brush, and we're going to make some clouds coming, or some, I'm sorry, we're going to make some more waves coming in. Load it up. This ain't going to be some big waves. There's some waves crashing in. Maybe there's coming in right here. Taking a corner of the brush, tapping it, harder you tap. The more wave that, that comes in. And it just goes away. And that's how these look. They start there and then they come in and they crash in. And when you're doing it, you can also all, almost make the sounds of the waves crashing in. Makes it more fun. Not that this isn't fun as it is. I'm going to put another wave, maybe starting right here. Right at the top of that reflection. I think that's going to really look good because it's going to give you that reflection of, remember the harder you tap, this one is really crashing in. See how that sounded? And it just made it feel like the, the ocean was here. <laughs> ah. Okay. Clean it off my brush, the fan brush, and I'm going to pull from the waves to give it more of a break. Like it's breaking. And you want to leave gaps in between the waves because that gives you depth like in your clouds. Maybe this is where it just started breaking here. And you pull it and in the waves it got it gets shallower. When it starts breaking, you have that the whiteness, the foaminess. I'm just kind of blending that in. So you got that coming in. Right in here is where it's crashing. We'll just kind of blend that down. Take away some of that blackness. Because you want, you want some darkness in there. But you want it where it looks like it's turning over. Just the way it looks now. Because that's where the waves come in. They crash and they start turning over. And this one is right down in the shallow. 
right at the edge of the beach. Right where it gets foamy. Blend that in. Do the same thing here like you did up there. You want to turn some of this in. So this is where it crashes. You can leave some dark because sometimes it's dark in there. You can't see, you know. But I'm just doing a circular motion trying to create all that foaminess that happens when it crashes in. Pull that right in. Looks pretty good. Shade that in some more, make this more crashy, wavy, where it's turning over. Down here, we're going to use palette knife and put in some white right at the beach line. Get a roll of paint because maybe there's some other waves happening here. All I'm doing is scraping it in just going like that. Adding some more color maybe it goes right off. Just like that. Take the blender brush. We're going to pull back on that. Just tapping the top of it and pulling it back towards the other wave. that sharp edge there. That looks like where it's coming in and it's getting all foamy. Okay, we got the seagulls. The sky looks pretty good. I'm going to do a little bit of maintenance here. all the colors going. I'm going to add a little bit more white over here. Okay, now we're going to take some brown and almost like a cadmium yellow. And I think it's time for some palm trees. And those are always fun to paint. I'm loading the color right on the fan brush. Brown colors. That you might think a palm tree looks like. Just like that, it's loaded on both sides. The way I like to do palm trees is I like to just tap it to get the trunk down of it, and then I go from there. So let's say a palm tree is going to be right here. Just tap it. This way you get your basic outline. Maybe it comes right down 
almost in front of the wave. Add more color. Maybe we'll have him have, uh, there'll be another one right here in front. A little lower. Maybe he comes on an angle. You know how palm trees are kind of like they curve. Well, if you don't know, that's what they do. They come in on all kinds of angles. And maybe I'm going to put one right here, but not too high, because I really don't want to block the seagulls we put in. Maybe I'm going to put it right here. Just tapping down. Just like that. Load up some more darker color. Do the same thing. You can almost push a little harder. And you have your whole trunk made. Just from using the fan brush. You get those textures of it too. The textures of the palm trees the way they look. They got that texture on the trunk of the tree. Just tapping. Hope you can see this. Just like that. This one here needs a little bit more, I think. This one here. Now we're going to leave that color on there and take on some titanium white. What I want to do now is get the reflection of the sun. I'm just going to tap it. Titanium white. Need a light color. Just to give it that highlight. Here and there and there and here. And what you can do is, when you tap it, go in a circular motion. So you're going around the tree. And the way the tree looks, it's got all those things happening. Nothing in nature is perfect. It's got all the imperfections. Now we'll go back into the brown color that we use for the palm trees. Because now we're going to put in where the palms, where it all happens, starts. So it's up here. What happens is the palm trees, when they grow, they break off. And this is the stuff that's left over, the brown. The brown of the palms. So this is what we're trying to create, because we're making the illusion of where that's underneath the palms, the tree itself. Okay, now I'm going to clean this fan brush again. Get a lot of the excess off. So I'm going to go into green color, the green color of the water. That's uh, phthalo blue, phthalo green. And I'm going to add some sap green. And liquid 
clear to thin it out. Because a thin paint sticks to a thick paint every time. But I want a darker color. That's why I'm pulling in the dark color of the ocean. Plus it's a green color, so it works. Works for the palm trees. I'm just dabbing it. What I like to do is start my palm trees by just tapping like I did the trunk of the tree. Just tapping it like that. Maybe that one comes right down. Maybe there's one. I tell you what, palm trees, they have all kinds of palms. They're all, there's so many palms coming out on top of a palm tree. I didn't think there was that many. They're like all over the place. They got different things happening. Maybe this one back here. I'm going to put all these in first. Then I'm going to come in and make the palms. Maybe this one's going right off the canvas. And they're all coming from the top like that. Maybe this one is breaking down. Maybe this one here is coming from in front of the other one. Maybe there's one here. We'll go to the other side now. Tap in the same colors. And maybe this one here, I'm going to start lower. This one here goes right off. Add some more color. Another one up here. Goes into the sky, into the clouds we did. That's okay. We know they're there. Maybe that one comes right down. Maybe this one here, there, or here. Kind of everywhere. That one comes right down into there. Now we're going to start putting the palms in. Holding the same color up with liquid clear because you want to thin it out. And let's say we'll start right in here. Pull from that area that you just put on there. Plus with the paint you have on. And you got your palm. Same thing. You can make them short or as long as you want. There's another one here. And they're different colors too, different textures. Goes right down into the water. Maybe there's one here that we started on. Just barely. Two hair and some air. Barely. That's the one coming right down in front of it. This one you picked up some brown. Might want to load up with some color again so you don't have too much brown in it. And they're going to be different colors, different shades. Some is going to be lighter, darker. These palms right now I only put them on one side for now. But I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. As soon as I finish this. Maybe that one goes up and into just a little bit on the top. Just a peak. Maybe this one comes down in front of that tree. Who knows? Maybe on this side you can see some of the other one coming off. Now we'll 
come over here. Do the same thing on this side. More color. Maybe on this side. You can see part of the other side. Part of the other side of the palm. Tap in the middle end. Sometimes that helps to get some of the paint off. Some of the paint that you might not want. Put some more paint on. Just like that. Barely tapping. Kind of gives it that that look that you're looking for. Loading up more paint, and here we can put some on this side just to fill it in. using the edge of it now. Pulling from that center part. Where you might not see all of the all the palm on the other side because of the angle. So you'll see, you'll see some of it and like there there you've seen all of it. Just here and there and there and here. start darker in the middle that's a good spot to start because that takes some of the paint off like right in here there's a little area I'm really gonna dab it fill it in well I see there's a tree a palm I am it's right in front here coming down right down into the water Maybe this one you can see both sides. Just like that. Well, I believe we have a finished painting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get my script liner brush that we used earlier for the seagulls. And I'm going to sign it down here in the lower left hand corner. Usually well, I kind of put it out of the way, you know, so it's not real big, real big lettering. and Just so people know who did it. You can sign it by your last name. That's what I do. Or your initials. You can sign whatever you want. I usually put the, the year in too. So, I'm signing mine right here. And I put 2012. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Turned out pretty good. And uh, I hope you come back and see me again. And I'll be doing some more paintings and breaking them down into volumes and lessons. This one here, you've seen the whole painting. I'm going to break it down into me just doing the sky. And me just doing then just the water. Then the waves. And then the palm trees. So I hope you come back and see me and I hope you have a wonderful day.